If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about buying the Peak Design tripod. I don't blame you because I bought one for myself. But before you do, I want to introduce another cheaper option. This is the Ulanzi & Coleman Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod, and it is exactly half the price of the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Tripod. In this video, I'm going to compare these two tripods on eight different features, including one big feature besides price that really convinced me that one tripod was better than the other. In the end, we'll see which tripod comes out on top. Leave a comment down below with your guess of which tripod is going to win. But before we get started, I think it's worth addressing the fact that the Ulanzi tripod is heavily inspired by the Peak Design tripod. And in all fairness, Peak Design debuted its tripods in July 2019. And at that time, they were seen as revolutionary because of the compact size of the tripod and all of its features that were pretty different from your standard tripod designs. However, this tripod is not perfect, and there are some features that could be better. And it's now been three years since that initial release, and we have yet to see a Peak Design tripod version 2. So it only makes sense that a competitor would swoop in to try to make a better version of this tripod. Also, if you've seen any of my latest videos, I've been raving about a certain Manfrotto tripod as being my absolute favorite travel tripod, and I will compare this one to these tripods, but that will be in a separate video. First up, let's talk about price. Peak Design makes two versions of their tripod, an aluminum version for $380 US dollars and a carbon fiber version for $650. Now the main difference is the type of material that makes up the tripod, which affects the weight. The cheaper aluminum tripod weighs 3.4 pounds, while the carbon fiber version is 2.8 pounds. Is it worth paying almost double the money just to save not even a pound of weight? In my opinion, no. And that's why I personally bought the aluminum tripod. But now, Ulanzi is offering a carbon fiber tripod for half the price of Peak Design's version. And that is very compelling. So right off the bat, both of these tripods come in a protective bag, but I already like the Ulanzi tripod more because the bag is not skin tight. The Peak Design tripod bag is so form-fitting that it's extremely difficult to get the tripod in and out of the bag. So a lot of the times, I don't even use the bag. Holding them up side by side, both tripods feel really premium and sturdy. In terms of the weight, the Ulanzi is slightly lighter at 2.2 pounds compared to 2.8 pounds for the Peak Design carbon fiber. But you can see that the Ulanzi tripod is already slightly taller at 16.6 .6 inches compared to Peak Design's 15.5 inches. However, the trade-off is that when the tripods are fully extended, the Ulanzi ends up being slightly taller at 61.6 .6 inches compared to 60 inches for the Peak Design. In this case, I prefer the Ulanzi because I find the Peak Design to be a touch too short in most instances, and I'm already a short person at 5'2". In terms of the maximum load capacity, the Ulanzi can handle 18 pounds, while the Peak Design can take on 20 pounds, so Peak Design does win for that one. In terms of the tripod legs, you'll notice that Ulanzi has gone for a more traditional rounded tripod leg, while Peak Design has kind of a hexagonal shape to the tripod legs. But both tripod legs have five sections that can unlock with these clasps. And so this is something that I've both loved and hated about Peak Design tripods. So I love how quick and easy it is to unlock the legs and thus deploy the tripod. It is much faster than having the twist locks, which is what you find on most standard tripods out there. However, I have found that the Peak Design leg locks loosen over time. And so since Ulanzi has also adopted this same type of leg lock, I worry about them loosening over time, but only time will tell if that will be the case. But if your tripod legs do get loose, you can use the included tool to tighten them. Both tripods come with a multi-tool for tightening loose tripod legs, and that tool is stored within the tripod itself. For Peak Design, the tool is stored within one of the tripod legs, and the tool is a double Allen key or hex wrench. One end is smaller for the tripod leg screws, and the other is a standard size for most tripod camera plates. The Ulanzi tool is stored on the bottom of the center column, and it's only a singular tool meant for the tripod legs. 
The tool also works with the included tripod plate, but the hole size is not standard. So if you're like me and you're constantly using other tripod plates that have a standard hole size, then it might bother you to not have a standard size Allen key included with the Ulanzi. Overall, I prefer Peak Design's approach with the tool placement and also the extended usefulness of the tool. Oh, and another bonus of the Peak Design tripod is at the bottom of the center column, which is where Ulanzi has the tool stored, Peak Design has opted for a smartphone holder instead, which is super useful. Ulanzi doesn't even have a smartphone mount on this tripod, but they do have a quarter inch tripod hole on one side, which is meant for their customized smartphone tool. Since I mentioned the center columns, it's worth noting that both tripods have them to give you a little bit of extra height. And on both ends of the center column is a hook for storing your bag and also giving your tripod a little bit more stability. The center column for both tripods can also be removed and reattached for inverted mode, which is really great for getting low angles. It's incredibly easy to remove and reattach both center columns, but notice on the Peak Design, it's a twisting mechanism, while on the Ulanzi, it's a flip up lever. Now I'm going to give this one to Ulanzi because I like how quick and easy it is to use the lever to loosen the center column. And I also like that it's a different color so it stands out and is easier to find. Now let's talk about the ball head, which is where you attach and fine tune the positioning of your camera. Both tripods come with a built-in ball head, and in the case of the Peak Design, this was one of the standout features that was uniquely different compared to other standard tripods. Most standard ball heads have at least two different knobs for adjusting the tilt and roll axis, but the Peak Design ball head has two rings instead. The outer ring will loosen the jaws and give you a traditional tilt and roll movement, but there's also a locking mechanism here to secure the jaws around the ball head. Now the down side to this design is that you can't pan with this tripod head, which is something I like to do a lot with my tripod. One other thing about the ball head is that it's set to take Arca Swiss tripod plates, but it has these little screw stoppers here, which means you can only use the Peak Design tripod plates unless you remove the screws, and then you can use your own plates or even an L bracket. The ball head also has a quick release button for attaching and detaching your camera, and it has a bubble leveler to make sure that you're even. Now the Ulanzi ball head is similar but different. It's physically a bit smaller and it also only has one lever to loosen the ball head. It also has a little knob on the side, which is to enable panning. And this in itself is a huge win and the main reason why I like the Ulanzi tripod more over the Peak Design. The ball head also has a bubble leveler, but unfortunately it gets covered once you put your camera on, which isn't a big deal because I usually use the built-in leveler on my camera anyway. And finally, the the ball head is Arca Swiss compatible, and your L brackets and your own Arca Swiss tripod plates will fit just fine without having to remove screws. However, there's no quick release for your camera, but Ulanzi did tell me that they are coming out with yet another version of this tripod that does have a quick release built in. So stay tuned for more information on that tripod. So which ball head is better comes down to your personal preference. But I really prefer Ulanzi just for that panning feature alone. I just wish it had that quick release, which again, might be getting my wish soon. So in the end, we end up with six points for Ulanzi and three points for Peak Design. But obviously my point system is subjective and you may not agree with some of my conclusions. But here's what we can all agree on. Both tripods are great. And if you already own the Peak Design tripod, I don't think you should sell it just to get the Ulanzi version. But if you are on the market for a new tripod and you don't already own the Peak Design tripod, then you've got some serious thinking to do. And I personally would go with the Ulanzi. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know which of these two tripods, if either one, you would pick. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We also just launched channel memberships. So if you'd like to make a little bit of extra contribution to the channel, then you can click the join button to get more information. But at the very least, thank you for watching the video. Just watching the video gives us a lot of support and we appreciate all the support we can get. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.